Well, thank you all for coming today. It's uh, awesome. To, uh, it was a great turnout. We're very, I am very encouraged. And I, I know some of you came here specifically to encourage me, and you have succeeded. So uh, I had a great uh, breakfast in Hazelton this morning with a men's group there, and that was also encouraging. And so we'll just keep encouraging ourselves on through this campaign. It says uh, in the Bible that David, when he was discouraged, he encouraged himself in the Lord. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to read something that I wrote in the wee hours this morning, and uh, I may wander off into some other uh, unwritten, unwritten comments, but welcome to the 2019 federal election campaign, and thank you for being here with us today. Many of you have been with the CHP since its founding, and others of you have joined the CHP more recently. And all of you are here to spur us on and help us to reach more voters than ever before with our message of life, family, and freedom. The Prime Minister, after being in power four years too long, has now launched this campaign about four days too soon. But here we are today. Uh, yesterday I submitted my candidate document to the returning officer in Terrace uh, using an electronic system which, uh, as I've told some of you, uh, took me longer than it would have to dr drive to Terrace and back. But anyway, uh, I expect within 24 hours I should be recognized as a registered candidate. And across this country, we have CHP candidates in every province except Newfoundland registering their candidacy with their local returning officers. And we have some fantastic new candidates who will make a difference in the debates inspire their fellow citizens and give voters in their districts a reason to go to the polls this October. This year, as leader of the party, I've been away from home for over 120 days looking for candidates, members, and volunteers in every province. And I did my leader's tour before the campaign. I, I notice CBC isn't here to follow me where I'm going today, uh, which they are for some of the bigger parties. But uh, so I did my leader's tour because I wanted to be here in Skeena Bulkley Valley uh, during the next uh, weeks until October 21 when we go to the polls. Uh, so in the next few weeks, I'll be pounding the highways in Skeena Bulkley Valley, knocking on doors, handing out leaflets, and participating in, debate, in debates. There's already about six debates scheduled in uh, various towns, Smithers, Burns Lake, Prince Rupert, Terrace, Kitimat, and more. Uh, will be developing as the days go by. The choices before voters this year have never been more critical. Since the last election, nearly a half a million babies have been killed by abortion. I haven't seen the latest numbers, but well over 5,000 elderly or disabled Canadians have been killed by taxpayer-funded, doctor-assisted suicide. Some places were trying to prevent suicide, but if you're with this government, you're promoting it, and we're paying for it. Schools in every province, and certainly in BC, have become centers for the indoctrination of children in regards to gender and sexuality, and the rights of parents to raise their own children according to their beliefs in regards to morality and gender have come under attack. In fact, the right of Canadian citizens to speak the truth on important matters of biological reality are being restricted. My friend Bill Whatcott was fined $55,000 by the BC Human Rights Tribunal for refusing to refer to a biological male as a female. So he's under attack for speaking obvious truth. Canada's debt has risen to nearly $700 billion. <clears throat> That's 700,000 million. <clears throat> uh, the daily interest paid by Canadian taxpayers each and every day is more than $70 million. We can blame the current Prime Minister, who has been running across the country trying to buy votes with your grandchildren's money, and he deserves blame. But the problem of runaway deficits and debts did not begin with him. <clears throat> the Conservatives, under Stephen Harper, added over $144 billion uh, to the national debt during their nine years in office. If and when interest rates go up again, they're at historic lows now, it will become even harder to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And even now, we know that your children and your grandchildren will be paying throughout their lives for the wild spending of both liberal and conservative 
governments, and if the NDP and the Greens ever, ever get to uh, hold a power, Katie bar the door. The fixation of this government with CO2, a beneficial natural gas that plant life depends upon, has led to a national carbon tax, which is not fixing the environment, it's just draining your, your wallet and being spent on crazy government programs. <clears throat> the government's ideas about open borders has led to an increase of illegal border crossings and masses of unvetted refugees who simply have to walk across Canada's border to become recipients of involuntary taxpayer support. Meanwhile, our current immigration minister, Ahmed Hussein, who happens to be a Muslim, has issued orders for deportation, not for ISIS fighters, not for terrorists, not for criminals, but for a hard-working Christian family who are likely to face death and persecution in Nigeria. The scandals that have followed this prime minister with SNC-Lavalin, his holiday with the Aga Khan, his flaunting of his careless attitude toward sexuality in countless pride parades, his wasteful spending of your money are enough reasons to throw him and his lackeys out. His arrogance in giving millions of dollars to his friends under the Canada Summer Jobs Program and $595 million to his media friends and many more millions to abortion providers around the world is simply unbelievable. But what's the alternative? And that's where I ran out of time. So <laughs> the, there is an alternative. <laughs> many people say, well, then we'll have to vote conservative because, you know, who else can, can fix the problems? Just remember, if you're pro-life under a conservative government for nine years and four years with a majority, our past prime minister, Mr. Stephen Harper, in his inner circle, vetoed and undercut four different uh, pro-life measures that were introduced by his own backbench members. There was Ken Epps' Unborn Victims of Violence Bill. There was uh, Rod Bernouge's uh, anti-coercion bill, Roxanne's Law, which would have made it illegal to coerce a woman to have an abortion against her will. Uh, I thought it was all about woman's choice, but not one NDP, not one liberal voted for that bill, and quite a few of the conservatives, uh, including the prime minister and his inner circle, voted against it, and they, they scuttled their own uh, backbenchers uh, measure there. Stephen Woodworth had uh, his personhood motion, Motion 312, that would have simply asked Parliament to examine, to form a committee and examine when does human life begin. And it was, again, the former Prime Minister in a Conservative government who scuttled that. The current uh, leader of the Conservative Party, Mr. Andrew Scheer, who in the past was pro-life, who in the past voted for pro-life measures, now is saying as the leader of the Conservative Party that their party will not open, reopen, he calls it reopen, the issues of abortion or same-sex marriage. He's trying to, he says we want a big blue tent, we want everybody in the tent, and yet if you are a social conservative, you're solid pro-life, uh, you're not going to have his support. Um, Maxime Bernier, there's one other alternative out there, the People's Party is getting a lot of attention and uh, having a lot of momentum. Uh, just so you know, Maxime Bernier, in his former existence uh, as a conservative, marched in the gay pride parades. Maxime Bernier has never been pro-life. He does have some good members in his party. Laura Lynn Tyler Thompson stands out as the candidate in Red Deer Lacombe, uh, who is solidly pro-life and pro-family. Okay, he's going to allow them to speak, but uh, if, just because he allows them to speak, if he doesn't stand behind the issues, they will not accomplish anything. They just had a convention. They did not pass any uh, pro-life uh, uh, policies at their convention. So um, we are here, Christian Heritage Party, for 32 years. We have been solidly in protection of innocent human life from conception until natural death. In uh, defense of traditional marriage, and we say now defense and restoration of traditional marriage between one man and one woman. And we, of course, stand for freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom to do what's right. You know, a lot of people think freedom is the freedom to do whatever you want. No, freedom, <coughs> real freedom, is the freedom to do what's right. And so uh, we stand with all that. Uh, we also stand for balanced budgets. We would introduce mandatory balanced budgets. 
um, and many other issues. Uh, we have on our website, chp.ca, we have, I think, 44 platform topics. We have just bullet points on, but we do have uh, longer, detailed explanations for those that are interested that we could discuss it with you. But that's not, you didn't come here to hear me talk about the things you already know. You came here to kick off this campaign, and I'm so glad you did, and I'm so glad for the sunshine. It made it a really a cheery time, and uh, you all have warmed my hearts by being here. Now, uh, the next five weeks, um, well, voting day is October 21, so the, the days just over five weeks until October 21 are going to be hectic for me. I, I don't know actually if it could be any more hectic than the last few weeks have been, but we're, we will be going, I, I figured just to get to uh, most of the towns in the riding, which includes Bella Coola, Atlin, Queen Charlotte Islands, and Fort St. James, and everything in between, Rupert, a, a minimum of 10,000 kilometers just to get there and back again. And we'll probably have to go some of them more than once. It uh, doesn't leave a lot of time for door knocking. I mean, when you're driving, you're not knocking on doors. Um, we do have ads running now on CFNR and CFTK. Um, we, we, everything is either time or money. There's things that you either have people that do things. We, we do have uh, brochures now, and I hope you'll take some with you. I've got some brochures in the uh, shelter there. Uh, take as many as you think you can distribute. We will be looking for door knockers, and because many of you live in the Smithers, Telqua, and Houston areas, um, I'm kind of hoping that local people will be able to do the bulk of that door knocking so that I can take a couple people and spend more time in Rupert, Terrace, Kitimat, and we'll never get to all the doors. It's just the way it is. Uh, in three weeks' time, the advanced polls open, um, and basically 10 days from voting day, and three and a half weeks, and um, once people have voted in the advanced polls, well, they can't vote again. So, so if they haven't heard about us before then, um, you know, they'll, they might regret their vote, but they can't take it back, right? So I'm basically making an appeal. First of all, number one, and I know we have this from you, we need your prayers so that we uh, stay strong, so that we do the things that need to be done, so that we're attentive to the voice of God, to be in the right place, doing the right thing, saying the right thing to the right people at the right time to accomplish His purpose, and uh, we don't know what all he's going to do. We have had, I've had fellow candidates become Christians during the campaign, uh, people that uh, I've interacted with. That's, that's a big, great thing. It would be wonderful if our current MP, our current MLA, and the candidates would also become Christians, pro-life and all that. But in the meantime, we're going to try to win the seat so that we can bring life, family, and freedom to Ottawa for representing the members of Skeena Bulkley Valley. Thank you so much. Um, we also need, so, so we're going to need volunteers and uh, basically um, when you take a brochure you'll have my, my phone number, you'll have my email address. If you are able to help for a couple of hours or a couple of days or a couple of weeks with door knocking and uh, brochure distri distribution or phoning, anything like that, please let us know. I do have, there's a pastor from Vancouver coming up to spend a week with me couple of other people from Vancouver coming up and uh, we're, we're hoping that we can get to many doors and have a, a presence. Of course the debates are one, one wonderful way to do that. Um, we also are going to need financial contributions. Um, the next federal election will be four years from today and, and this is really, uh, we appreciate you have uh, kept the Skeena Bulkley Valley EDA strong and that's why we're able to be here. That's why we have people able to set up this event today and uh, be able to be in the fall fair parade and all these kind of things. Uh, so you're, we appreciate very much your support for the federal party, CHP Canada, and the local EDA, CHP Skeena Bulkley Valley. Um, for this campaign, right now, I do have an official agent. Brent, Brent Weemey is my official agent. He's away for a couple of weeks. The easiest way to contribute to my campaign right now uh, is to make a check to uh, CHP Skeena Bulkley Valley EDA I should have had envelopes here for you, but I didn't. Um, box 2442, Smithers, BC, VOJ 2NO. And of course, uh, you don't have to remember all that. You can give me a call if you don't know or look in your newsletter or whatever. But uh, I'll just tell you this, not all of you are in a position to do this, but for those who are, you are allowed as a citizen to 
contribute up to sixteen hundred dollars to a an election can candidate and or an EDA. So if you've already given to Skeena Bulkley Valley a maximum for the year, then you can't give any more. Uh, but uh, the candidate and the EDA are considered one entity. So if you contribute to the CHP Skeena Bulkley Valley, it'll be transferred into my campaign account. At the end of the campaign, whatever's left over will be transferred back. And we've set out a, uh, a budget that uh, allows us to do quite a bit of uh, uh, advertising. If the budget were bigger, we could do more. We won't be uh, anywhere close to competing with the big boys uh, who have uh, taxpayer funding. By the way, after the last federal election, the Conservative Party and its candidates received from the taxpayers something like $31 million to get ready for the next campaign. Uh, the Liberals about the same, the NDP a little less, the Greens a little less, Christian Heritage Party zero because we didn't achieve that uh, threshold that they've set a 10% threshold for votes across the country or votes within the riding. As long as we get over 10% of the votes in this riding, we will get some, some of our funding back. Can't call it back, you're getting it from the taxpayer. but. But we are on this uh, uphill slope, so we have always depended on, on you, our members, to carry us through. I don't want to belabor the point, but I do want to let you know that uh, we can really use your contributions, whatever you're uh, willing and able to do for us. On the, if you are a taxpayer, on the smaller donations, I say smaller, $400 and plus, uh, up to $400, you get 75% back on your taxes, and it decreases. Uh, at $1,200 it peaks out, and if you give $1,200 or $1,600 in either case, you get $625 back on your taxes. So just so you know all that, um, again, I don't want to belabor the point, but sometimes people need to know what the, what the uh, possibilities are. Uh, I've put in already to this campaign, and uh, Skeena Buckley Valley has already made a transfer. We have signs. Oh, please take a lawn sign with you. Uh, at least one uh, before you go. They're up in the back there. Uh, take a, a little stack of brochures, however many you think you can distribute, and keep us in your prayers. Let us know if, uh, if you're able to help with any amount of door knocking or that kind of help. And I think I've talked long enough about what we're asking from you, but I, I want to tell you that just coming here today, if you do nothing else, that has uh, filled my heart with joy and uh, encouraged me for the trail ahead. So thank you very much.